It's still early out in Cali, baby, don't you wanna rally again? Find a road with no name, way back in the slow lane Skies dropping Jupiter around us like some old train We'll be rolling down the windows, I bet you we'll catch a nice second wind We don't have to go home, we can leave the night on But we can leave the night on Good morning. So I am going to show y'all how to make that zucchini oatmeal that I talked about in my grocery haul because I had some questions about it. Um, super simple. Like I said, zucchini doesn't taste like anything. So honestly, it just adds volume to your oatmeal without adding calories. So for example, as opposed to doing a full serving of oats, which is half a cup um, or 40 grams, I only do a fourth cup of oats, so I do half of a serving. But then I add like 150 grams of zucchini um, because it gives you like volume like it's like you're eating a lot of food but you're not getting all the calories from the oats like you would if you did a full serving of oats you won't get all those carbs you'll just have the zucchini which is like almost no calories and you get your vegetables in and you get micronutrients so it's like also beneficial because you're improving your health with the micronutrients with the zucchini so i've also do it with cauliflower sometimes i add the cauliflower to my oats because cauliflower doesn't really taste like anything either and so it just makes your oats more voluminous so i'll show you guys what i'm doing I already have the oats weighed out so here I have a fourth cup of oats and 150 grams of zucchini I'm gonna put water in this microwave it for one minute add the zucchini microwave them both together for a minute and then stir in some protein powder all right and this is all this is it all mixed together I know it looks gross but I promise you can't taste the zucchini then I like to add a scoop of protein powder into it and like cinnamon and that's what gives it the flavor you can top it with peanut butter apple just what you would do with any normal oatmeal and it's delicious side note I just chopped up the zucchini here but I used to shred it and if you're, it's your first time doing it I would recommend grating it or shredding it because then you don't really have like the chunks of it and it kind of mixes well better with your oats but I just chopped it Tomorrow is Wednesday, which is the day where I'm just like gone all day. And so I realized I actually have a full day of eating that I can show you all right now. For breakfast, this is a third cup of oats with 100 grams of zucchini and one scoop of protein powder. For meal two, this is just a bunch of lettuce, carrots, and fake chicken. So a little salad right there. Meal three is a stir fry. So I have half a bag of frozen vegetables, three ounces of chicken, and um, underneath the chicken is a half bag of rice cauliflower from Trader Joe's. And then meal four, or like my dinner, is again um, 85 grams of that fake chicken, five ounces of baked sweet potato with a half tablespoon of peanut butter and cinnamon, and then a half bag of frozen Brussels sprouts. And then my dessert is Greek yogurt with half a scoop of protein powder, peanut butter, and apple and sprinkles so good so honestly this is my full day of eating for my cut and I will tell you the macros so the macros for the oatmeal is 22 carbs 4 fat 29 protein oh sorry meal 2 which is the salad will be 18 carbs 6 fat 24 protein Meal three, or the stir fry, will be um, 22 carbs, five fat, 20 protein. And then the sweet potato meal will be 45 carbs, nine fat, 21 protein. And my dessert is 19 carb, nine fat, 31 protein. And then I have my fish oil, which is just four fat. So my total will be 126 carbs, 37 fat, and 124 protein. So I have to be honest, I think that deciding to do a cut during Thanksgiving was not the best idea. Especially because this year I'm pretty much celebrating it three times, which means three times of a ton of eating. I look super tired because it's early morning on Sunday actually. Yesterday was Saturday and I still woke up at 4.30 to work out. Sorry for this music in the background. But anyways, I'm going to go to some cardio and work out. And yesterday I had one of my Thanksgiving feasts, so I'm feeling it and I need some cardio, so wish me luck. Okay, I just finished my five miles on the treadmill, non-stop, and then I stopped because my plan was just to do five miles, but I feel like I can do another one. So, I am going to push for a six mile, and then I think, I was thinking of doing legs, but I think I'm just gonna stretch out because I need to stretch, I didn't stretch very well this week, and I can feel my hips are tight again. So, 
one more mile so we can make it six, then stretch and really do the hip mobility that I've kind of showed you before. So, see you after one more mile. So I know I said I was only gonna do one more mile. I actually did two more miles. So, I ran seven miles. I didn't run that much like, oh my gosh, I ate so much food, I have to run it all off. No, I was planning to run today because I did want to do some cardio to flush out the excess sodium and the water weight, but I love running. Like if you guys didn't know, um, in college I did triathlons all four years, so I'm more of a cardio person. And so, my instinct and my like natural love is to run and so once I got on there I just felt so good but I just kept running I honestly because of all the calories I had yesterday it just you know it gives you extra energy because calories are energy so I just decided to use them since I felt good might as well keep going so I did I did seven miles I honestly feel like I could do more but I know that if I trash my legs today the rest of the week my legs will just be dead and I won't be able to do my cardio during the rest of the week because of today so I'm gonna take it easy, just do seven miles, and then the rest of the week I should be good to still do my normal, actual cardio that's not seven miles. But anyways, that was that, and I'm gonna go stretch, do some abs, and then eat. I figured I'd show you. It's a different day, obviously, so I want to show you a couple of my meals today. Um, for breakfast, I don't know if it was in this vlog or a recent vlog, but I said I don't eat egg whites, like plain savory egg whites for breakfast. Today, I'm, I'm breaking that because I need to go a little lower carb today, so I'm going to do egg whites with zucchini. And then for meal two and meal three, it's almost the same thing. I just have a bunch of lettuce, carrots, uh, honey mustard dressing and then for the protein on this one I have egg whites and the protein on this one I have the fake chicken I have this one the teriyaki chicken strips, but I don't actually use the teriyaki sauce that it comes with and then these little green things are banana peppers which I love and Also on top of the egg whites. I'm going to do a laughing cow cheese. This one is the spicy pepper jack and then I'm going to do this on top. Honestly, this seasoning on top of a laughing cow cheese literally tastes like a bagel. Like, you don't need the actual bagel for it to taste like it. It is such a good combination. Like, you can put this on, like, Ezekiel bread. Or we're going to just put it on here. And then with the seasoning on top, oh my gosh, it tastes so good. This is from Trader Joe's. I recommend it. So here are three meals. My meal number four is actually going to be a salad like this again with the egg whites. Um, so that'll be my meal number four. Then meal number five will be my usual Greek yogurt dessert with protein powder.